Who got firsties? Danny. <laughs> Fox is losing his touch, man. No, he's not losing it. He's lost his touch. Oh, he doesn't even he's have it anymore. He's lost his touch. I gotcha. Toilet paper, yay! What's going on, guys? Thank you guys for coming back. Hey, <laughs> damn DMK just can't get over it, man. He's he's excited. Mmm, <laughs> surge is delicious. Damn, has Fox stopped fapping and be first? <laughs> Come on, you stupid app. Like, I'm ready to go, but my app doesn't want to work. Erin you foxy i just don't like getting blamed for the shit you do yeah really <laughs> exactly we all seem to get blamed for that what video is he was talking about that i'm supposed to know what he's talking about i don't know i don't know there it goes i'm confused i'm confused by a lot of things modern's in here with his fake 70s wet, wet in ball and waits for nerdy mr fathom what's going on buddy Let's see if we can get this to work. There's dandelion and burdock. I don't know what that is. So I guess that's a no. It's what it 
Gentlemen, boys and girls, if you do not know, it is Middle Finger Monday. That one's for you, S. Fox specifically. And it is the Nerdy Effect. That is amazing. Thank you guys so much. We tried the new intro video. I know it's a little wonky, a little weird, but it looks a little better. And you guys can see kind of what's going on. And if you truly want to see it in great quality, oh, right there. Go to YouTube. Check it out on YouTube. It is awesome. But... Thank you all so much for joining me on this Middle Finger Monday. It is Monday, I know, we just celebrated Friday, and then that wretched weekend that everybody always looks forward to just sort of went, ha -ha, and then skipped right to Monday, and here we are again, so I do apologize. While I'm trying to get you over that hump day, the original hump day is Monday, please feel free to vote in the Super Random Brawl! Oh, <laughs> and if you missed the pre-show, which I don't think any of you did, uh, somebody already went through boobs, which is amazing. And uh, tonight we are celebrating the Indian flag, rocking it once again, because I got four on order. They're going to be here hopefully Friday. So then we can rock some brand new flags in here. S-Fox already knows what's going on. Only the strong welcomes. Thank you so much for coming in here. Appreciate it. I like the man makes the show better. I'm trying. I'm trying to get it. More of a professional type show, and that's why I wanted an intro song. This song is 100% mine, so when these transfer over to YouTube, there's no copyright because they're mine. They're written by my uh, personal friend, Tarfinger. He is a streamer as well. Not as streaming as often as I'd like him to, but he does. He wrote that song for me, so I try to put it on there as much as possible. Sunday was yanked out from under me like... Vankman's Tablecloth. Wow. Way to reference Ghostbusters, but I approve. Aha! <laughs> Not Middle Finger Monday. It's Fallout 4 Monday. Not really, because it'll be Tuesday before you can get it. So, oh, you lose. I know math. You don't know math. I don't know math, but not, oh, black box. not only are we celebrating Middle Finger Monday, we're also celebrating a little bit of Fallout. So uh, I got one of my Fallout props right there. That is a bottle of Quantum Cola. I would drink it, but in the meantime, I'm drinking me some Sarge. Some Sarge. Yeah, I know. Sarge is probably the closest thing we have to a Nicola. That's true, right? Yeah, you could you could probably like uh, pour this on rat, if and all of a sudden you get gremlins. Like five of those in a row, like within an hour span, so you would probably glow in the dark. Christmas light display. Holy crap, man, Fathom. Do you realize there's a Thanksgiving in between there? You calm the hell down. However, if it's amazing, you calm the hell up. So that's the first time for that. What up? What's going on? The flowers are still standing. <laughs> but uh, in my long uh, road trip 2015 that we took this weekend... Uh, we passed through a couple of states that have Serge. Now, my state does not have Serge, but I got me some Serge, and I stopped the hell up on it. It's Serge, but I just like saying Serge. This is a creative stream. Yes, it is, Revan. Thank you, man. Only Serge last month. What? You calm the hell down. Uh, Serge is back. Now we need Jolt back. No, I didn't like Jolt. I like Serge, so yeah, I stacked Serge, up. Serge is the way to be. Yeah, see. I stocked up on this, man, so we might just be rocking this for a couple more streams, you know, because you got to have the energy with all the sugar content. Mm. One million pounds of garbage. Subaru. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Freddy's Ready says hi to you. Hello. I miss Serge. Freddy's Ready. Um, Mrs. Freddy's Ready. Do you not? Do you guys not have them where you're at? I mean, like I knew that Texas didn't, but holy crap, man! Kentucky, Indiana, and Michigan have it. I think Michigan. I'm pretty sure. Uh, but you guys got to pick you up some Serge, man. Um, Serge. You now, the commercial? Serge! Now, I don't think, uh, I don't think Missouri had it. Mr. Clancy! Ravecats, but nerdy, sorry, but I'm off to play Fallout 4. Uh, how did you get a copy? Oh, damn it, Ravecrat. And you're about to, you're about to get attacked. I drank Surge a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, that's the point of it. Yeah, that, that's why I had to stock up and buy it. I officially light my Xbox play on Thanksgiving. Jesus. Uh, how's it going, brother? Mr. Clancy, it's going pretty good for a middle finger Monday. 
saw it in Florida. I bet they have it in Florida. Well, what, get, get, get you some. I know you can get it off of Amazon, but I just, I'm too cheap to get it off of Amazon. I like buying it fresh out the store. For some reason, it makes it taste better. I don't know. And uh, Minnesota has it. All right. There you go. Jolt made me feel like I was a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, not here in Missouri. I didn't think it was, man, because we 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 uh we passed through there on the way up, so I I didn't see it. But we only stopped at one little store, and that doesn't mean much. But we stopped one place in Kentucky, they had it, and then we stopped in Indiana, and they had it there too. So I was like, what the hell? By the way, I will say this: if you're from Indiana, I hate your state. So uh, did Ginger guys check out IG? Jesus Christ, heroes, we're busy. Calm down. When we're done, we will. We will check it out. I will love it. I will hug it, and I'll go. Thank you, heroes. But right now, I gotta talk to forty-one people. Uh, <laughs> weird. We usually beat Kentucky. Everybody beats Kentucky. It is the butthole of America. How do you plead? <laughs> We have it in all the raceway gas stations. Ah, there you go, right there. We missed you. No, I missed you, Ruta. Like Clancy's been here. Your ass has been. I don't so, know. So I don't know. Somebody just said the UK doesn't have Thanksgiving. I guess they really don't. So what do they do in November? What does the UK do in November? <laughs> Mister Furburger. How you doing, man? The only true artist on Ustream is Furburger. Hell, hug it, squeeze it, call it George. Yes, I will. Last time Surge was out, pop came in glass bottles. Oh, look at you with the old man reference. How are you, Jizzy? I'm doing all right for a middle finger Monday. Side Sheep's doing worse. Uh, no, what the hell do the, does the UK do for their, was it, third week in November? Yeah, that means they have uh, to be at work and... No, you're not. <laughs> I feel bad for you, son. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. What do you, what do you guys do in November? Do they, do they have like uh I guess the same question goes for Canada since they had their vacation in October. No, right. Now, see, we from London and right all the people from London at the third week of November, we celebrate All Fog Day. It's where we all go out and get lost in the fog. And if you get lost in the fog forever, you're gone and dead. We celebrate you next year on All Fog Day. Go on, Jesse, get Ruta told what Yeah, I know, no doubt, man. The dude's like he's like, "Dude, I missed everybody." No. Oh, Clancy's been here. Superman said that about Thanksgiving. Oh. <laughs> Cracking knuckles. I think Ron could take boobs on. You never know. But you got to vote, man. Since we're on Ustream, you got that interact button. Click that interact button. Make sure you vote. One of them is going to move on. No Thanksgiving, they came here. What? No Thanksgiving, they came here. Yeah, no, I know, but I'm just like, what? They, they got to have something to do in November. Guy Fox was a couple of days ago. Yeah, I guess you're right. I guess it's, they, they celebrate Guy Fox Day. What? I mean... That's the parliament crap. I've been okay. messed up on my body clock, bro. But no, 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 no excuse. Off to feast and eat and I'm from London. And yeah, yeah, we get we get three full days of feasting and eating because that's America. They can rap America. America likes food. We have nothing in November. Well, you need to get some. That sucks. Hi, Fizzle Stick. <laughs> I struck gold. I found a 26-pound turkey at the store today. What? Did you wow. buy it now? It's it's a little pre. No, uh, you can totally do it. I mean, you put it in the freezer. You're gonna be that. You have to have to probably take five days to thaw that stupid thing. <laughs> they celebrate the criminals leaving for the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> no, right, you wankers, get the hell out. Get on your wooden chips and good luck. You know what? I'm glad to be descendants of. Uh, Never drank surge before. Criminals, well, you need to go to Indiana and get you some. Have you guys tried deep fried turkey? Oh yeah. yeah. This is the South. And up. Oh. North, they don't have fried shit. In the South, they invented fried. We have fried everything. We have deep fried Oreos wrapped in bacon. That's not healthy yeah, for yeah. anybody. We have deep fried butter. Yeah, that's right. We do have deep fried butter. <laughs> they stick up their thumbs with their bums. Oh, Jesus Christ. So uh, yeah, we start lady. Christmas in September. We, no, we we started here in August. You have to move planet Ruta. Ruta met a lady. That's where he's been. He met a lady? He met a lady. So he's been balls deep. Uh, all right, high five. <laughs> we know Halloween, Thanksgiving, no big deal. We don't, you don't have a Halloween? Like Thanksgiving, fine, I get it. It's American holiday. But, but Halloween is actually ripped off from the Mexicans, so you should seriously no, have that. Halloween is ripped off from Celtic pagan stuff. Still, they should have it. Mexicans stay the day. Yep, it's frozen deep turkey deep bought it today. Well, stop bragging. Us Southerners deep fry everything. Everything. Yeah, Saints knows. 
Uh, breaking news, Money Maker 254. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, man? We are celebrating uh, the Indian flag today, and we're rocking a bottle of Nuka Cola. So if you're thirsty, drink that up, man. It takes the rods, the raids down. No, it actually puts your rads up. Whatever. What up, Clance? I like turtles. I know you do, man. I've seen your collection. Huh, I tried it was good deep fried Oreos are good. Yes, they are. They're amazing, but they're bad for you. It takes it takes years off your life. So what? Halloween is just Satan only early is Sam Harren? Sam Harren? I don't know what Sam Harren is. Fizz kid, stop with your weird that's stuff. That's the pagan holiday. That Halloween is based off of but we get four to six weeks paid per year. Shut up. Howdy, y'all. What's going on, Flob? How you doing, man? Ruta's talking crap. She's imaginary. Or is she you in a dress? <laughs> Nuka Cola. Heart, 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 heart. Yeah, it really is. It's real deal. No, it's not Nuka Cola. I'm sorry. It's Quantum. It's Quantum Cola, which is the best. I don't know why I said Nuka Cola. I guess because it's on my brain. Because, uh, I honestly, I cannot wait to play Fallout tomorrow. And yes, I am going to be an adult and wait till tomorrow to play it. Pronounce Sawan. Okay, alright, cool. I, I appreciate the, the small education on that. So, I know that a lot of people are like, uh, listen to guys, she's right, do whatever forever. <laughs> Live forever. <laughs> Ever impregnate a frozen turkey with frozen sperm using a turkey baster? No, I use my penis inside, cheap. That's pretty much where I end my stuff. Have you got any TNA stuff? Yes, I do. I've got a, I've got a few things from TNA, but a lot of my wrestling stuff is all put up. I don't have it out on hand. We have deep fried Mars bars. We have deep fried butter. <laughs> the Great Dust Man. What's going on, The Great Dust Man? How we do deep fried bars and Twix. Yeah, that's, that's right. But in the South, like we deep fry whatever, deep and then we wrap it in bacon. What do we not deep fry? Yeah, that's true. Somebody probably has a deep fried foot. I mean, we deep fry green beans, asparagus, carrots, all kinds of stuff. I will be the gayest streamer on YouTube. <laughs> no, Mexico is actually slowly moving over to YouTube on some of his shows, too. He's following the gayness. Clancy would love to use my face as a chair. He's probably doing it right now. That's why he's not typing too much. <laughs> What shirt are you wearing? I'm wearing the nerd shirt right there. Thank you so much, Moneymaker, for pointing that out. This is the nerd shirt. Guys, I have five left. I have five shirts left. That's it. And when five shirts are done, I can order the, all the sizes for everybody else. So if you guys want a nerd shirt, message me on Instagram if you don't already have one. Because I know I haven't sold 47, so some of you are holding out. Just give me 17 bucks and the shirt's yours. Exactly. Where do you think turducken comes from? Very good. Uh, Chaba with Black Friday. Chaba, Chaba with Black Friday. All right, okay. I have tried deep fried red velvet cake. That sounds delicious. Now I want some damn that. Uh, U.S. obsessed with sugar and back home. Yes, it is. Yes. Toys. Hopefully, it's Fallout Four related. No, well, no. I didn't. I didn't buy the Fallout Four one. No, I didn't. The fair near me does deep fried a lot of stuff. That's the point of it, man. That's the South. That's Welcome where, to America. It started out in fairs, but now it's moved to restaurants. <laughs> restaurants have fried things. That's true. How you been, man? We, we've been pretty good. We're trying to keep the show rolling, trying to do adapt and make everything good and nice so that uh, the show progresses nicely when we move to YouTube. F you, man. <laughs> Oreo wrapped in bacon. Are you seriously show's disgusted? Look, don't be show disgusted. Look, this is America. This is the South, and enjoy it. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Uh, but anyway, extreme gayness. <laughs> hey, extreme gayness. You are in the right stream. This is the second gay stream on UStream. So uh, welcome. You're come on in. Come on, give me a hug. Give me a hug. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, me and my friend we took a road trip this weekend uh, all the way up to Indiana, and we actually went into Michigan just for a brief little bit and came back out. We went all the way to Indiana to a toy store that's there. And I know you're like, but Nandy, there's no way you possibly went up there for just toys. Yeah, I did. Uh, they have really good, they have like really good stuff. Uh, yes, she she actually has one full uh, hole, but it's filled with Wanda's. But I can take them out just for your pleasure if you want. Do you still need the black suit Spider-Man? Maybe, maybe. Uh, but anyway, so I went to the toy store, right? And right when I walked in, and I talked about this on Friday, right when I walked in, they had the USS flag in the box, right, sitting up there. And I said it on Friday. I said if I ever had the opportunity to buy it, I would buy it. 
So I'm staring at this. It's up on a big shelf. So I was up. It's just in the box, right? I'm looking at this box, and it's just it's it's staggering how big that box is. Uh, hang on, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. It, like like it literally stands. Oh, I can't believe I just broke that. Damn it! I knew I was going to. I knew I was going to. Uh, but it stands this tall, like it's this wide, like this thick. That's what she said. It is absolutely huge. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not getting uncharted. It is ridiculous how big the USS Flag box is. And I was just staring at the box like, you know, I said it on Friday. I probably need to buy it. Uh, Cobra Commander, what's going on, man? Uh, Cobra's right there. But... When I asked about it, because it didn't have a, like most of them had little uh, stickers on it, and this one didn't have a sticker, so I was like, well, that must be way out of the price range. So I asked, and they said, no, it's just the box. And I'm like, oh, God, thank God. Like, because I was probably going to shell out the money for the USS flag. And they said that they actually come in and go with, like, USS flags all the damn time, so I need to stay the hell away from that place. Because, Mr. Tannis, how you doing? I would have walked away with the USS flag. Granted, it would have been an amazing show. Like, it would have been two hours of me just assembling that monstrosity. But, uh, yo, nerdy, how are you? Mr. LN Navy, how you doing, buddy? Doing good. We're talking about my toy trip. So the box just, it had me in awe. And then I actually asked, how much for the box? They said, ah, oh, we're not selling the box. We're keeping it in case we get, you know, pieces to the flag. And I'm like, ah, you bastards. So anyway, I passed on the box, but I was, I really, I was about to buy it. But in the meantime for that, uh, so I didn't buy the USS flag. I instead picked up my very, and I never owned this as a kid. Uh, I wanted it, but I never owned this as a kid. But I, I picked up my very first ever... Voltron figure. Uh, no, man. Uh, he's almost complete. He doesn't have the figures that go inside, and he doesn't have his sword or his shield. But this figure is in great, great condition, man. The stickers are all still in place, which is really hard to come by. He still uh, transforms into each individual cat really, really nicely. Like, a couple of the joints are a little loose, but that's fine by me. Uh, Carl, what's going on? Especially for the fact that I didn't have to pay out the anus for this. Because I saw this same figure at a flea market like about six months ago. Something like that. But nerdy, what's up from southern Ohio? What's going on, man? At least it's not Indiana. Uh, but yeah, so I picked up my very first Voltron ever. I had never had this in my life. So I'm like, you know, this, I gotta have it. That's my screenshot for this video. <laughs> we can see the Nuka-Cola. You're such an amazing, interesting person. No homo. No, no, no. Full homo. That, that's how we are in here, man. Bring it on, man. Come on. Bring it on. Hi, go, Tam. So, this is truly something I had never had when I was a kid, and I always, always kind of wanted it. And so, when I saw it there, and the flag was off the table, this is what I decided to pick up. Now, granted, I got other things, too, but... uh I really, 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 uh, you is a fucking something, uh, but I really, really wanted to get this so that I can say, hey, I got a freaking Voltron. So I picked it up. I, I would do all the transformation and stuff, but it does, it takes a while to get it all apart and back together, but I wanted you guys to see it. Carl, what's going on? Our jaw's on the floor here, Jizzy. You calm down, Viz kid. But just for the fact that all the stickers are still in place, man, I, I, I love it so much, and he's going to stand right there. You know, I'll, I'll just get the, I'll get the thing off the, yeah. Uh, I'm going to have to rearrange my shelf. But he's going to stand right next to the original Megazord. So we got original Voltron and original Megazord from uh, Power Rangers. And then, of course, Voltron right there. So pretty, I, I dig it so much, man. And it's, it's funny to see the similarities of the two. Like, Voltron came first... But look at, look at the, even the colors kind of match up. You know, you just kind of swap it around. It's really hard to tell which is which. Because I remember whenever some people would pop in the show, they'd be like, is that Voltron back there? Like, no, I don't have a Voltron. But now I got me a Voltron that goes with my Megazord. So how old are you? Too old to be doing a show about toys on Ustream. I miss my Dragonzord. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. Ah. So we did pick up that. Have you got Alpha from the Power Rangers? Yes. <laughs> Dev Voltron, but Ooh, you calm down, Subzilla. I like your name, though. I did, I did Subzilla. So uh, we're done talking about that, so now I can get back to your questions. I know I missed a few, but I wanted to get that out, because that, that toy store is amazeballs. It, it really is. Like I, 
I was overwhelmed walking into that place. And it's not that big. Like, I've been in Toys R Us's that are bigger than that. But this, like, they have loose figures. They have figures still in the box. They had the USS flag. They had the Ghostbuster house. And it was like 98% complete or something. It was just missing like a railing. And I just, oh, I'm so sorry, man. I was just so sorry that I, I could not buy the Ghostbuster house. But I don't have any room for that stuff. Was well, Voltron ripoff. I agree. Did he seriously say, use a bitch, it'll get educated? I don't, I'm, I'm not sure. I missed who it was. Uh, F this stream, I'm off back to the pub. Who said that? I can't see it. Clancy. Clancy. Ah, Mr. Clancy. <laughs> you go ahead and enjoy yourself, man. I appreciate you hanging out, man. Remove ads. Uh, the thing is, I can't. It would cost me $1,000 out of my pocket to remove the ads for you guys. And I like you, but not that damn much. Thank you. Sounds like a real toy store. It really is. I mean, they had, like, I'm going to post pictures on Instagram, maybe tonight, of the aisles of these, man. They had stuff, they had hot toys in the ca in cases and stuff. They had all, they had the complete set of Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure figures. They had the phone booth, they had Rufus and all that. Uh, I could not, I like, my brain could not handle what this store had. Like, if you had it in your childhood, it was there. They had She-Ra, they had He-Man, all of it. Star Wars, Star Trek, down each individual aisle, pops, everything. It was insanity. Uh, Taco flavored kisses. What up, girl? I think I remember watching Voltron on Tuna Mania. <laughs> I got full Ghostbusters house, bro. Don't be bragging. Don't you have to go to the bar with Clancy? Don't you guys uh, like a joint of the hip or something? I'm talking about you, stream in general. Uh, Transformers rule. I totally agree with you, Pocus. I really do. Um, I love Transformers, and they had, they had a original uh, Megatron in the box, <laughs> and it wasn't even that damaged. Oh, it was it was beautiful. They actually let me you know hold it and stuff like that just because it was in my wheelhouse of wanting to buy. They had five Optimus Primes with the trailer and everything. They had uh, like so many in the box, so many out the box. It was in, it was overwhelming. Cybernet something worked for you. I, I, can't, I missed what he said. Hey dude, how's things? I create carnage. Donate for a dreamove. Dreamove? What's a dreamove? Good thing that toy store's too far away or you'd be poor. That's what I told him. Joseph Daily Vlog. What's going on, man? It's been a minute, but welcome. Thank you so much for coming back. Uh, yeah, I'm very happy that toy store's that freaking far away because it was insane. Like, I had to think hard and long about what I was going to buy versus what I wasn't going to buy. Oh, uh, it was it was actually uh, very, very difficult for me to... Um, you know what? I just forgot about that. I don't... Huh. Uh-oh. I'm missing a bag. I just, my, my mind was talking about the toy store. I missed the thing. But will be the best. I know. Uh, just finished MJ Drawing. Oh, appreciate it, man. I, I, I think it's great. You, you are a true artist, man. Hello to all you tacos. What's the best TMNT toy? Um, like, personally? I mean, I, I dig the pizza shooter. That's my favorite. I had a lot of action, action man and doctor. Oh, yeah, uh, I do have one action man. I bought it just to say I have an action man, but he's in the closet right now because that's where action man belongs. Like, I, I, I proudly display my Barbie toaster, but action man is too gay for the stream. A <laughs> uh, heck of a shop like that would be from F the Toy Ban. My head hurts from reading that. Any Star Screamers? Uh, I love Star Scream, but I do not have a Star, Star Scream. Yeah, there you go. The Red Bumblebee worth more than the yellow. Now, the Red Bumblebee was Cliff Jumper. <laughs> Show Jizzy Pop right there. Uh, you cry when you left? No, I cried when I was in the middle of it. Like, walking down these aisles, because they had the toys in bags hanging up, but they weren't the same bags. So you had to, like, go through, and there was so much. Like, my brain could not handle it. It honestly could not handle all the stuff that was there. So I built model car kits. Awesome. I used to when I was younger, but I don't have the room anymore to do it. You have South Park characters. Yeah, I have a Mr. Hanky somewhere back there. It's up on IG. Check it out. I will. I promise you. Clammy's a collectible blow-up doll. There's a bunch of Clammy's in Furburger stuff. He collects them all. How do you know if a streamer wears undies for two days? Oh, Jesus, I don't even want to know. <laughs> Let me, uh, give me one second, guys. I apologize. I'm sorry. I just, th I just, my brain just went, uh. I didn't do it. 
No, I know. I was going to show it tonight and I forgot. Because I was going to set everything up to show and I think I left it. I'm pretty sure. I'm sorry about that, guys. You left it where? Uh, in the truck. Oh. Yeah. It's a toy store, anything like Toys R Us. No, no. This was everything from the 70s, the 80s. They had stuff from the 50s. They had wind-up robots from the 50s with the box. Oh. My head couldn't handle it. It really couldn't. I don't remember Voltron being so deep in color, but I was eight. Yeah, that's the, probably the difference. Like, this, this is one of those things, like, if you had it growing up for your whole time, it's like, okay, you remember it. But if you only had it for a brief period, then it vanished. When you see it again, you're like, damn, I don't remember that or this or whatever. And it was just, they had a, they had four of these. They had four Voltrons. Two were complete, but they didn't want to pay the price just for the sword and the shield. So I'm like, you know what? I'll take the Voltron without the sword and shield. Uh, who's your favorite? Avengers and Avengers. 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 That's the Mexican equivalent of Avengers. Uh, Iron Man, man, just because, uh, I, I just dig Iron Man, the Batman aspect. They're just so smart, but they have to, you know, incorporate everything right. Any G.I. Joes, uh, Lucid Dream, man, we were talking about getting the USS flag, and I would have bought it. I would have walked in, bought that, nothing else, and left. And I would have been satisfied with that, but, oh, they didn't have one at this particular time. But of course I got G.I. Joes, man. Uh, original Baroness is up there, and, uh, original Cobra Commander is right there. Did you burn blue pants? No, shy guy. I dug him out today. He's ready to go. We're probably going to burn him on Wednesday. Dr. Jekyll, big KU fan. What's going on, buddy? Welcome back. I had 70s era rock star posters in my man cave. I'd love to see him, man. I would love to see him. That's why I have an Instagram. You can follow me on Instagram. Create an Instagram account. Follow me. Take pictures of your stuff. I would love to see it. But it was 300 doll hairs. Just saying, not the... Not the money maker. Oh, I don't know what that is. But tonight we are drinking Surge, right? There's a throwback for you. In the meantime, I didn't even touch it. It fell on its own. In the meantime, make sure you guys vote in the Super Random Brawl, Wicked Witch, Ron Mexico, or Judge Dredd. Click that interact button. Choose your favorite. Are you opening anything? Of course I am. Action Man was very popular here in Europe. No, Action Man was popular here for about, I think it was two years. Because it was basically, it was basically like G.I. Joe's, but like the big G.I. Joe's. So, uh, I do have one, man. It's, I, I was just kidding about the gayness. Uh, it was really fun to watch Action Man and to be able to have like, cause they had so many accessories. They came with a knife and a bazooka and a scuba suit and all kinds of stuff. Do you have any Marvel figures, nerd? I have a lot of Marvel figures. <laughs> Uh, be a sweetheart and get the bag from the truck, pal. <laughs> I know, right? No, it's not her. Doctor Who toys. Um, where's it at? Right there. <laughs> I got all kinds of Doctor Who stuff. Uh, yes, I can't wait. Yeah, no, seriously. So for those of you guys that are new to the show or whatever, this guy, I bought him to say that I have some Dragon Ball Z, right? But he caused a lot of controversy for me. A whole lot. Pissed me off. Made me angry. So, and I was going to burn him on Friday. I forgot my torch. I'm going to burn him today. I forgot my torch. I'm going to get my torch for a Wednesday show. We're going to burn his ass live on stream. I finally got him. Yes, it is. Very good, Stick. Uh, but yeah, they started making... That sludge again. <laughs> yes, they did. They started making surge again, so I picked it up on my long trip up to Michigan. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Any from Street Fighter. Yeah, I have a Ken over there on my other shelf. But, so, on... On Wednesday's show, we're going to light this guy on fire and watch him melt into a big blue pancake. Just because, uh... Why not, man? Name somebody else that's burned a figure on their show... I built some from scratch, made model parts from styrene styrofoam. Oh, sweet, sweet, awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, see, that's what I'm telling you, man. Get an Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. But in the meantime, make sure you vote in a random brawl. Somebody's going to move on tonight. Could be your favorite. Don't get angry if I don't. I have PS1 Action Man. <laughs> that's awesome. Have you seen the Back to the Future documentary? Yes, I have. It's on Netflix. Check it out if you haven't. You want some weed? I smoke weed every day for two. <laughs> oh, could you not get your zero on there? You should have taken off the I. It could have been smoke weed every day for 20. Now you're just 42. It sounds like you're the 42nd guy to say that. But I like the name anyway, and uh, now nah, you smoke for me. <laughs> you said Dragon Ball. Where are you from? Texas, man. Where are you from? 
How's the new Transformer game? I enjoy it. I haven't had a lot of time to play it, mainly because uh, I do this show too damn much. So I do the show, and then I was playing LEGO Dimensions, and now Fallout's coming out tomorrow, Quantum Cola. And after that, Battlefront. There's too many damn games, and I have too much crap to do. Something's about to give. Do you have Snapchat? No, I don't. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, people. Mr. Mr. Mrs. Nikki the Lovely. What's going on, girl? Uh, damn pothead sell drugs. Oh, no, man. I got basically there's a dude in here be like, hey, buddy, you want some weed? Miss Dicky D. Thank you so much for coming in here. I'm glad I got to hang out in your show because it's uh, Coffee with Nikki D on Monday. <laughs> Which one do you like, nerdy? Metal, Mortal Kombat or... Siphon filter? I'm trying to figure out what the uh, SF is. SF. Mm, I don't know. What? What? Spell it out longer. Any Mortal Kombat X? Yeah, man. Uh, behind this, we actually have Sub Zero and Scorpion. We've opened both of them on screen. K911 forbids the burning of anime figures on stream. Well, we're about to break all the rules, man. Get your cuffs out. Let's make it kinky on Wednesday. I live in Fort Worth, Texas. At one time, uh, there you go, man. I've been there a couple times. It's uh, I actually like Fort Worth. Was well, Back to the Future game crap? Not really. It was just kind of difficult to play at times. I finished Transformers. You stop bragging. Something's healthy. Ron Mexico. Yeah, Mexico goes. Can't Carl anymore. So how about Lady Bird? Becca. Stars. She's gotta get her twinkle so she. Gets You're the twinkler. Twinkle, 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 twinkle. Thank you. That's what that's what this means. Twinkle, damn it. Bro, any new loot box? Not yet. We did a uh, pop. <clears throat> Pop box on Friday show. That's what I'm going to now. You ever look at Voltron on weed? Oh no, Street Fighter. Oh, X7 Street Fighter. My head went to Siphon Filter, man. I like Street Fighter, but I like Siphon Filter better. <laughs> uh, well, so Ashes, Divide. What's up, buddy? Um, my choice. I think Mortal Kombat would whoop Street Fighter's ass, hands down, man. Ooh, Kinky Wednesday, yeah. Hey, add me on PS3. <laughs> I know, right, Nikki? Cause it's uh, coffee with Nikki on Mondays. <laughs> oh, Nikki, always good to have you in here. Thank you for stop streaming, so now people can come in my stream. Cause you know, if they get a choice, Nikki D or Nerdy. Nikki's always going to win the damn thing, so it's always good to see you, girl. I live in south side of Fort Worth. The Stockyards is on. Ah, gotcha. Drink the cola. Do it. I am. I'm drinking Surge, baby. Been drinking Surge since the pre-show. I'm trying to keep it in. What's up, Brew from New Zealand? What's going on in New Zealand besides daylight right now? Uh, <laughs> Becca Starr saw license plate. Becca Starr. It was probably her. You know it was. Hmm. So make sure you guys vote in a random brawl. I'm going to show you something else I picked up this weekend. Oh. So let, let's do a pop now. Does your room collection or does your porn collection quantity compare to your toy collection? It used to. It doesn't anymore because porn is free now. Demand some toy opening. We're doing it. We're doing it. Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter. Mortal Kombat all day. So I'm a huge pop collector. If you guys cannot tell, these are all pops. These are all pops. Those are all pops. And there's pops here. There's my Becca Stars right there. It's my Freddy's Ready. Pops are invading my life. And so this weekend, it was no exception for me to pick up, let alone more pops. So <laughs> you'll be getting from Santa. I'll be getting something for Santa. What do I get? You're excited for Supergirl or something. Damn it. Have you got Edinburgh? I always got Edinburgh on hand. I always got to have Edinburgh. Well, you would love my collection. Mr. Revan Hyrule. Follow me on Instagram. Show me your stuff. That's why I have it. No, the blue shirt over here. Oh, no. Oh, well, coffee on Mondays. Got to copy and use. That's right. Welcome to Coffee with Nikki on Mondays. Sit down. Tell me about yourself. So I picked up a pop. I picked up a Call of Duty pop. I am a fan of Call of Duty. I'm not getting Black Ops 3. I don't have the time. Not that it's that crappy of a game. It's It's a great game. I just don't have the time. But. I decided to pick up this crazy zombie pop. It's a GameStop exclusive, unless you're anime and games, and you can get this, you know, like at a Walgreens or something. So, Dog Side, glad you got in here, man. Hang out. So I picked up this guy named Brutus. The only reason I bought him is because he's basically like a zombie pop, and I dig it that the shield is all cracked. So let's look at him. Let's find out what he's all about. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> 
the water gardens downtown. Stop naming landmarks. You're nah. Uh, Walmart count oh, would combat count as grown up for random brawl. Would Mortal Kombat count as grow grow group as a group? Uh, no, I wouldn't accept Mortal Kombat. No, I wouldn't. I, it took me a minute. I'm sorry, man. You you worded that correctly. It's my fault on my end, man. Wish I had a cool intro in my name when I... <laughs> uh, Vinny. <laughs> Stop buying pops. So this is Brutus out the box. Uh, I dig it, man. Look at this, man. Blood stained all over him. And he has this crazy shield, which flips up. I have never seen that on a pop. I've never seen something that moves on a pop before. How kick-ass is that? The shield, the riot shield, flips up out of his way so you can see how zombified he is. Oh, I dig the Brutus pop, man. Only get it at GameStop. It's an exclusive, and it's pretty badass. Marty McFly, you have Vin Diesel face nerdy. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I probably need to shave my head and uh, get some muscles to go with it. Uh, they smell people. Jamaican Kush. I like the name. Don't like the comment. Becca Stars is laughing. Stop laughing. Especially at Vinny. Don't laugh at him. He doesn't like it. Red plus yellow bumblebee pick on IG. Oh, Jesus Christ. Feels good. Uh, so anyway, this is Brutus. Of course I had to pick up a pop while I was out there. And ladies and gentlemen, we are approaching the midway point, which means random brawl number two of the day is about to be wrapped up. So make sure you get your last votes in while I fire up the, uh, vote tally. Somebody is that jeeping it! Holy crap! Where have you been? I popped into your Halloween stream and then oh, you've been gone. Where has jeeping it been, man? Thank you so much for popping in here, man. I really appreciate it. Okay. All right, he found it. Sorry about that, guys. I got a little off. What the hell is a pop? Pop is a figure that I collect and very addic addicted to. It's actually more addictive than heroin. I know, right? Lucky I've been looking up Call of Duty pops. Ooh, ah, oh, black box! Mm. Blue Moon Tonight. On Christmas Day, who gets the toys first? You or your kids? Oh, it's me, man. Push them little bastards out of the way. That's what you get. Uh, break the condom on me. Must get me one of those. Uh, dude, this one is one of the best ones I've seen in a while. Just for the fact it actually opens. You don't see that. Generally, it's already stuck on there. Uh. Surge makes you burp. Uh, Walking Dead, Riot, not, no, this isn't, this is, this is from Call of Duty. This is a Call of Duty pop. Uh, you're gay. Mr. Six, no, I am not gay, uh, but this is the second gayest stream on Ustream, followed only by Ron Mexico, who is the gayest stream on Ustream. We actually have a dildo back there somewhere. Like, it is so gay in here, but personally, I'm not, but I always leave my options open. I could wake up tomorrow and see a guy in the street and go, I gotta have his penis in my mouth. Hasn't happened yet, but it could very well be, so I leave my options wide open. Red Dragon, where you been, man? I saw a 67 Mustang Hot Wheels car on eBay for $5,000. Don't buy that. Wanted to start collecting pops, but it's better to get loot. I agree. You gonna watch Super Go tonight? No. Uh, the surge strikes back. Yeah, exactly. Hello, Miss Betty Boop. That's right. It's always good to see Betty Boop in here. It really is. Especially because I got my nerdy bracelet on. My friend's watching Superhuman Cyber Squad on his Vita. Uh, well, why is he bragging about it? Mr. Mr. Dubs, what's going on, man? How you doing? You also have Xbox One. No, I do not have Xbox One because Microsoft can uh, suck a dick. Uh, let's work to first gayest stream. No, no, I will never be... Messed up, Stephen Jeffrey. How you doing, man? Cali, girl. Uh, I will never have an Xbox One ever in my life. Uh, Microsoft can uh, go back and suck my balls on while they're at it. Does the loot box always have pops? No, they don't. Oh, wait, the, the box that I do, the pop box it does, but the one, uh, the loot crate doesn't. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you've been voting for 45, uh, maybe a little bit less than that, about 40 minutes. You sound like you open to, so, I, I, you never know, you never know. You may have the most beautiful penis in the world, but I don't know, I haven't seen it yet. Don't send me it, I don't want to. Uh, Walking Dead, Pop, Prison Guard, Mass Move 2. Well, okay. Song went action man the greatest thing. <laughs> Double sided dildo called Nerdy Mexico. Ah, oh, with our power, we do have the white rings. Oh, somebody tell Mexico to get his white ring. We can lock him on. We can take the bestie necklaces, click them in, click the white rings, and instant double dildo action. What's the Indian flag? Just interested. Uh, Mr. Blue, 
Mr. Blue Moon tonight. This is the nerdy effect, man. In each stream, we rock a different flag from a different country to just show love from them around the world. I don't think an Indian person has ever been in my stream, but the point is... Maybe they're just flipping through their PlayStation, you know, like, oh, that's not for me, that's not for me, or whatever, and then boom, there's their flag right there, man, they can come in, because you know that when they were young, or whatever, they may have not had this amount of toys, but there might be one in there that can spark that memory from childhood, and then boom, taken right back, and we can all combine, and you know, and have a great time, that's the point of why I do this, uh, ah, wooga, ah, what's going on, Juice, how you doing, man? I will send you my idea this week. All right, send it away, man. I have a tattoo on my penis. I don't care. Well, for you, I do. I, okay, show me. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been voting for a little bit longer than you should have. In the random brawl, the Wicked Witch, Ron Mexico, or Judge Dredd, one of them is moving on. <laughs> Mr. American Camaro. <laughs> ah, look at that, man. Without even having Mexico's vote, Ron Mexico moves on. Wicked Witch, out of here, Judge Dredd. Uh, almost had it, but you guys knew that the streamer Ron Mexico was going to take that regardless. So that's awesome. Last random brawl of the day. Holy crap. What the hell is that? You dirty whore. There you go. Uh, brown rings. Oh, cool dude. UK flag next. <laughs> Are you from the UK, man? All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys, if you guys, ah, black box, if you guys know who the Nerdy Effect is, man, thank you so much for tuning in. Now, that being said, during the month of October, we have done the cosplay, so none of your favorite characters showed up. Tonight, one of your favorite characters comes back. So I want you guys to vote in the random brawl, Super Mario, Barbarella, Winnie the Pooh. One of those is moving on tonight, and in the meantime... Let me go get him, because he's not coming to the door, he's coming up the lift. Yeah, the top box is like a loot box. You order it, you get one every month or so. Thank you all so much for hanging out. Young Mommy, what is going on? Right, Welcome to... Right, so, right, for those of you who don't know, my name is Captain Timothy Finkelbottom III. I am from Leeds. That is why we have the UK flag rocking in here. So how are you doing, Young Mommy? Thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, so, right, fish stick, is that you? No, right, Mr... No, no. Right, so one time... Oh, no, I'll tell you about my new profession, right? So, I was in Leeds, and while I was in Leeds, I got my National Sex Instructor uh, Certificate. Hey, what is going on anime and games? Big Daddy Juggalo, right? So, I was in Leeds, and while I was there, right, so I went to uh, Sex Instructor School. So, I, right, I, got, I got me... Right, I got me certification. So, right, tonight we're going to be talking about all things sexy and anything you guys really want to. Because uh, Timothy is a captain and he's now captain sex instructor. Right? 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 R what's going on, Tandis? Right, thank you very much. 
Right, what's up, mate? Greetings from Manchester. No, no, I know Leeds. Uh, K9 says, you guys better vote for Winnie the Pooh. Peachy Keen Jelly Bean. All right. Uh, no, Jelly Bellies. That's the best stuff in the world. Uh, Super Mario. Hmm. Right, now, oh snap, the British are coming. That's right, the British are coming right into your butthole. Right, so every time, right, we go, we, we're like, like, whenever us British folk are, like, having sex, we're like, no, right, s slow down, right, no, no, right, 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 yep. And then, oh, I just, right, I, I've just ejaculated. Your teeth are too good. <laughs> right, right. Um, I might have to get some reconstructed dental surgery. Uh, talk about boobs. Well, boobs won the random brawl earlier tonight, and then they're like real nice. We call them chesticles or mammaries, right? Because everything's real sophisticated here in England, especially when you're from Leeds. No, right, what's going on, sub? Right? Is it okay to dip me balls in hot jello after masturbation? Now, it's not only good, I highly recommend it. Right, you want to get that water simmering hot where it's real, like you don't even want to touch it. And then like after you've ejaculated, your balls are kind of dangly. So you just kind of hold your pecker up and then dip, dip, dip. And then once it hardens, you have kind of like a Jolly Rancher flavor. And then she goes back and then she, she like nibbles on your balls. And then like it cracks like Jolly Rancher stuff down in there. Are you being Ron Biffin? Not a clue who that is. Uh, is he from Leeds? How much fun has been... Wait, right? How much fun has been sex inspector? No, no, instructor. Hi, I'm from Future Paying Bill and Ted video game on my PS4. Well, I need to get it. Uh, I know this dude, he put a condom over his head. Right now, right, right, right. It actually happened. We tried to stretch it and it didn't work. And uh, surprisingly, that was the actual... Um, no, no, right, thank you very much. No, right, that was the actual, that was the last episode, right? So, we tried to stretch a condom over my head, and I probably, you know, thinking about it, I probably want to do that again. Do you have a condom? You would call them a rubber, and no. No, right, no, he's from, no, this guy is from the UK, so he knows what they're called. Well, unless he doesn't use them. How many kids you got, Cornage? But Manchester United 49, what's going on, right? Uh, I've been to Manchester once. I saw me a football game, didn't like it very much. Lots of people from <coughs> Leeds don't like football. They just like to walk around and slap the sisters on the asses. No, uh, bollocks geezer. Now, Crown 44 caliber. We don't have guns here in, in, in England, and there's no point to have them because all of our, all of our cops have batons. How's it going, brother? Long time. That's right, Clancy. Right, right, right. What's the best position to achieve the ultimate orgasm? Our uh, abstinence is always the best policy. Please, with team username, asking for trouble. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, right, Betty. Right. Do you like thumbing your bum? That's actually, like, that's what all the people from Leeds in the UK do. All we do is walk around in the fog with our thumb up our keister. Is side sheep going to be used on stream? Oh. Ooh. Rob Schneider or David Spade? Who is more handsome? Oh. Uh, oh. 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 <laughs> mm. How much fun has it been a sex instructor? No, right. It's actually been really good. You would think that all the ladies would flock to me. But it doesn't happen, uh, mainly because they go up and they be like, Hi, I'm from Canada, or I'm from America. And I'm like, no, right, no, your teeth have to be real jagged in order to turn on Timothy. Tim can have side sheep. No, no, side sheep's for you. Ha, I wouldn't buy putting a condom on your head for a dollar. <laughs> no, right, hello, what's going on, Mateo HS89? Now, in, uh, I thought about getting me a condom, but I just didn't. I need to find a condom next time I'm on. It might be a while, but I might do it. In UK, we don't use guns. Guns on the US only use batons for police. Right now, I know. I'm from Leeds. I've said it. Ring piece is a good Leeds phrase. I should probably start using ring piece. If you had to have sex with a man, who would it be? Charlton Heston. Uh, bomb sniffer. All day. What's going on, S Fox? Right, no, right. Uh, that's one hell of a Yorkshire accent. I'm a Yorkshire lass. Well, me and you, Betty Boo, we should get together and make all kinds of leads and lasses. Something like that. <laughs> right, so, um... 
Well, I need a really good, like, sexy question. Can I put a cup... Wait. Can I put a cup in my girl vagina? My girl vagina. A cup of what? Sugar? It makes everything nicer. I would... Uh, right. So if you ask me straight up, like, if I would pour a cup of sugar in a vagina, I would say go for it. Right? Because sugar and spice and everything nice right down there. Super Mario, right? Now, we're not worried about voting. That's not a point. The point is to talk about six. Mr. Sex Instructor, demonstrate how to please side sheep. Well, the easiest way, right, is to take her right by the snout, grab her right, and then turn her around, and make sure the wanders are both positioned tightly in her rectum. That way, back here, the whole time, the wanders are trying to escape. And then, see, right there, instant orgasm. Oh, Timothy, is that bad sex instructor or sex pest? Uh, no, 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 I'm right. It's instructor, right? See, right there. Sex instructor, can you pump my penis pump for me? Oh, any day, right? Then bring it over. I pump it real hard for you. Is it bad I come blood? Oh, no, well, especially when you got all the hooks in your back. Like, now, if, you got, if you're suspended from hooks in your back and you're jerking off very furiously, wanking, if you're wanking off very furiously and all of a sudden blood comes out, it means the hooks are too deep. Poor Leeds, poor Leeds people. <laughs> there has never been anybody from Leeds in here except for me because I'm from Leeds. But uh, no, I definitely, no, no, no. Can clean your pipes. Super Mario. No, right, no, he definitely could. No, he right, no. Uh, but no, no, don't be, don't be, don't be hating on the Leeds. Gay sheet sheet. No, no, no. That That is only, that is only if you're from like Scotland. Swallow the cum of my dick filled intestines, or then you're doing all kinds of things wrong. How to make a... Hmm. Now, see, the problem is, is you're doing it from your computer. Yes, you know Welsh, I love the sheep. Ha, ah, right, right, right. Uh, who is upside sheep's ring piece? There is Wanda. Wanda from the, the uh, Avengers movies, right? We got two of them up her ring piece. Do recommended mojo before you shag. Ah, right. I do always mojo. Uh, quantum cola is what it is. Hey, from Ireland. <laughs> right, what's going on, classy assassin? Right, 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 right. I'm going to send you a gift, bro. Classy, I would love a gift from you. But it's not very far shipping it to Leeds. Are you and S Fox brothers? No, 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 no. We don't associate with the Liverpool folk. You stream on these nuts. Right now, all the time, especially with the underrated superhero. I have no problem going up and slapping him right in the face. What is going on, Rick Sissy? Rick Sissy! I want to name me dog that. Be like, Rick Sissy, I would like you to come here and eat your kibble, boy. Come on, Rick Sissy. Me hair is all up in air. Kindle, they have the side sheep tissues too, hence the cake. Kindle? Right, I don't have a clue who Kindle is. Uh, Bahaha, model driven vixen strikes again. Right, 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 right. Hey, from Michigan, how are you? Right, Stevie Ray. Right, right, right. Do you take Viagra? Every day, mate. I do it regardless if I need it or not. If I'm going to go shag, a bo uh, shag abroad or not, I always pop a, vi a Viagra because everybody from Leeds has tidy penises and you don't want to have time to be like, Flicking it, trying to get it up. It doesn't work very well. Should I try to suck a lost condom out with me mouth? What? What? Where? What, lost where? Like, deep in the bum hole? I'll go for it, right? Just get up in there. Happens when you wear a blue dress and you work at the Wahasis. Uh, Kendall Town in northeast England. Pew! Super Mario all day. Wait to vote while you're talking about sex. I don't have a clue why this man is like, no, I don't need sex advice. There's no way you're very good at it. Do you recommend Boston Steamer or Dirty Sanchez? Well, the Dirty Sanchez is always has that weird fun finish at the end of it. Uh, the Boston Steamer, it's just more of a mess to clean up. But at the end, you get that, that little curly mustache. We are all sitting watching you naked under your clothes. No, right, DMK. No, I see you. I know what you're doing. I can open the vest. Oh, right. There you go. Does that turn you on? See, Timothy always comes prepared and dressed for success. You going to be looking like Lamar if you keep taking Viagra every day. Not a clue who Lamar is. Uh, we only talk prime mintuses and uh, famous people from Leeds. And right now, there's only one famous person from Leeds, and that is Timothy Finkelbottom III. 
Uh, not a clue who Lamar is. It makes my head hurt. No, I'm Batman. All right, I'm not going to fight you on it. You're not going to go and fight Batman. Barbarella's going to sex trance that plumber out of here. <laughs> me girlfriend loves to do with me a strap on, but it hurts. What should I do? Spit on it. I would spit right on me bum. Just be like, and then slap it right back in and you're done. You need a blowjob. Well, Rickus, I say go for it. Bring it on down. You can hide under me table. I have a tug fella. <laughs> I might actually have to do that once I get off stream. So, uh, just maybe about one more minute of Timothy Finkelbottom, but I really appreciate you hanging out. How do you earn your sex instructor credentials? Um, you have to go, do you have to go to the sex instructor college in Leeds? It, it, it's, it's like a one day course, and they basically you just walk in the door, you say, I would like to be a sex instructor. They say, Alright, where are you from? I said, I'm from Leeds. And they said, Okay, can you jerk off? And I said, I had a tug right there on the table, and then, uh, boom, shakalaka, it was all up. They said, here you go. And I was like, all right, now what do I do? They go, go make money. Uh, there's nothing else to do in England except look at the fog or, um, uh, have lots of sex. Uh, nights, Betty. No, right, thank you, thank you. Shave or wax, both. Is Floyd Mayweather the best ever? No, not even close. The best ever is George Fisticuffs. If you don't know who George Fisticuffs is, you probably should Google him. I would say type in Google George Fisticuffs and you will see the greatest fighter ever. What I miss, Dark Side, you probably need to hang up a little bit longer. So, uh, yes, please hang out. So, uh, one final question and then that is all for me. Uh, no, that's not a question, but, uh, I do love me tea. Uh, you've got to get the very dark black tea. That is my favorite. Uh, do you like black tea? Yes, do. Right. All right, last question. How much ass can you eat before you get sick? I'm sure you know. Oh, no, no, that is actually an absolute great question. Uh, the thing is, you just got to hoe your nose and you can eat ass for hours. Honestly, the longest I've ever done it is 16 and a half hours. As long as you don't swallow, it's good. And uh, you know what Timothy says? You got to swallow. Uh, yeah, baby, that's all shagadelic, yeah. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with Timothy Finkelbottom III. Uh, sex instructor, just got me credentials. It is absolutely amazing to come in and hang out with you. So, uh, as my final, uh, farewell to you. hoo That is all, thank you so much. We're going to rock the British flag. <laughs> what is going on guys i know that was weird uh but that's just how we do it up here in the nerdy effects side sheep i don't know why he touched you that way uh there's your crown back girl but uh thank you guys so much do you drink your mom title milk not a clue what a mom title milk is dark side no tonight we're actually drinking surge i know from the 90s man such a classic throwback so Let me do this. My friend, Darkseid, since he's back in here, was kind enough to send me a package. Woof! He was kind enough to send me a package. He sent it from Amazon, which is awesome. So tonight, I'm going to open it up, man. Again, thank you so much for taking time and money out of your day to uh, purchase me something. I really appreciate it, man. I swear, so many of these sounds like my British cousin to a T. <laughs> Uh, but Dark Side, before I even open, man, thank you so much for, uh, like I said, for sending me something. I really appreciate it. Um, I, I don't really have words. I was like, personally, like, I, I don't know what to say. Because it's like, man, why? I don't get it. Why? Why? I don't feel deserving of it. Uh, but we're going to open up, find out what Dark Side sent me. And uh, again, dude, before I w find out what it is, man, I really appreciate it. Thank you again. I don't know how deep to cut. What's up, nerdy Mr. Fox91? How you doing? All right, so... Do it this way.
what the hell? Did you get like a deal on these? Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, so this, this, you, you can tell, man. I'm pretty sure this is probably the same one that Darkside has in his collection. How do I send Mr. Timothy a gift, bro? Message me on Instagram. So, like, like Darkside always says, we're gonna bust the back off of it. Oh, we might bust the front off of it too. Ron Mexico, you won, baby. The first cut is the deepest. Sup? What's going on, Tyler? I enjoyed your stream, mate. You are cool. Manchester United, man. I appreciate it, man. I appreciate you hanging out. So this is Cyclops. I'm not going to try to pronounce that word. Mequit. And you can tell that this is actually something special. Because they actually taped around the styrofoam so the styrofoam wouldn't come apart during shipping. And I didn't cut very deep. Don't worry. I didn't cut the bottom. Always cut the bottom. Somebody write that down. Uh, but yeah, man, Manchester, I appreciate it, buddy. So, oh, it actually says fragile on it. Okay. Fragile. Fragile. Oh, that's badass. It's heavy, too. Look at that. Look at that. Wicked. That is badass, man. You, you can't tell, but it's actually, it, it looks black, but it's actually like a real, real, real dark blue on there. That is so sweet. And it's numbered. Whew. Seth Vandible is who, who sculpted this. So this is from X-Men Evolution. This is a Cyclops limited edition, uh, because you know that's how Dark Side rolls. This is awesome, buddy. Uh, again, thank you so much for this. This is really cool. Uh, he's going to have to go on my big shelf back there. And i got to get those lights fixed. Damn, that is cool. Look, look at that little ass he's got. He's got an ass like I do. Just kind of like, there's the back, there's a little bit of butt, and then it goes right in the thigh. So maybe, maybe I should be Cyclops. I'm doing all my figures wrong. <laughs> I should be Cyclops. Jizzy, it's, it's like 4 degrees minutes. Celsius in Canada. Holy crap, that's why we live in America. Wow. Gay, Mr. Beefy Starling. No, no, no. This is not the gayest you stream. Ron, Mexico is the gayest. This is the second gayest. There's actually a dildo back here. Uh, but this is from my friend Darkseid. Uh, this is awesome, buddy. Again, thank you so much. This is so cool. And, uh, damn, look at that. Look at the look at that. And it's numbered, too. So th there's only 2,500 of these in the world. And if my memory serves correctly, um, Sunday Heat has one and Darkseid has one. So three of the Nerd Council actually have one of these now. So that's really cool. Comments getting blocked. Getting blocked? Um, you might be trying to say the same thing over and over again, and sometimes it doesn't go through. Change it up what you're saying. Add a word. Bus boss strikes again, no doubt. What's up, Benny? That was nice. Looks like something from Team Fortress 2 style. This? Um, a little bit. This, this is, this is X-Men Evolution, which was a cartoon that came out in the early nine and in the late, no, early 2000s. We call flat butts just upper thighs. Yeah, that's what I got, too. Yeah, Ron, Mexico stream is super gay. Uh, but definitely definitely not as awesome as Nikki, Nikki with her bars. Bars. <laughs> nice one, Dark Side. Yeah, man, thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to have to clear some space on the shelf tonight. That way it can be prominently displayed and get those lights fixed because they're really, really dull. i got to find a different way for my light setting because... These, these, they take three AAA batteries, and this is the second time I have to replace them. The well, third time. Uh, that's not good. That's sweet. The cartoon is good. Yeah, I watched a little bit of the cartoon. It was actually, uh, like, after my time. I was kind of like, what do you call it? Like an adult at that point. Adult. You know what I mean? Uh, so I didn't watch it, but I do know of it, and I've heard good things about it. But that is just bad. Any, look at the, look at the size of his feet. This is definitely me. Look, no ass and giant feet. That's me. And ladies, you know what they say about guys with uh, big feet? That they're married and they shouldn't touch? No. That they have big socks. And it's really a pain in the ass to buy socks and shoes. I don't recommend big feet. I want to get, uh, want to get, like, surgery. He has nice upper thighs for sure. <laughs> I need to be like Nikki and have no feet. Did you know that? Nikki doesn't have feet. Why does she not have feet? Everybody's like, they, they want to see her feet. She doesn't have feet. But as oh. soon as she gets the elective surgery to get feet, then she'll show her feet. Oh, okay. So I need to get, maybe I'll give my feet to Nikki. Yeah, Nikki. Cut them off and cut them in half. She can have half. Yeah, Nikki, do you need, like, I can have feet to show?
Catch you later. Mr. James, man, thank you so much. Cadillac Matthew, what's going on, buddy? That Cyclops is nice. It really is. Still waiting to get DVDs. All right, well, get them. Brutalities of blood. What's going on, buddy? My man, what's going on, dude? I always, I love saying that name. That one and Ashes uh, and Becca. Stars. Really? Really what, DMNK? I got big feet. Later, James. All right. So, um, I got to fix that, and then we'll show it on the next show. Damn, I can't believe I broke it again. I didn't break it originally, though. So, while I was at that giant toy store, it wasn't a giant store, while I was at the toy store this weekend, uh, I picked up a few things. We're going to show those, and uh, then we'll uh, get the hell out of here. But in the meantime, while I'm skipping your comments, make sure you vote in a random brawl. You've got so many more toys since last time. <laughs> yes, sadly. Uh, let's see here. Uh, you, could blind, you could bind your feet like the Chinese used to. Um, I might do that. Maybe. JW or Colts or Broncos. If you have no feet, do you get to pick your shoe size? That would be amazing. Uh, besties for life. We share everything, even feet. <laughs> I need to send you a picture of my feet, Nikki. That way, whenever they ask you to show feet, you can show my giant hairy feet on there. That would be awesome. She has no feet. No, she doesn't. Nikki does not have... Everybody's like, show feet, and she doesn't. I've asked, and you know Nikki will do special favors for nerdy. Doesn't happen. So she does not... She has, like, round nubs on the bottom. That's it. I don't know how she gets around. Mr. MC Floyd, Papa, how you doing? They coming, heroes. Uh-oh. So I picked up another Visionaries uh, for... I think it was three bucks I paid for this. For another Visionaries with the helmet, that was pretty much a no-brainer. I don't have him. I only have one visionaries now anyway but i decided i'd pick up another one uh the the uh, the hologram looks really good on it. i think it's like a stegosaurus or something i can't quite tell um what these are but i was never a big visionaries fan it was kind of before my time so i i never really knew about them but anytime i see them i, I pick them up as soon as i can mr superman yawn how you doing so uh this is another visionaries to add to the collection like someone said earlier you've gotten so many more toys since i've last seen you yeah it's an addiction and i'm trying to stop but it's not working very well uh see little nav is, is worried about you nikki Dizzy got him for a crazy price. Apparently you did, man. Apparently you did. Because th number the, for being numbered, that's insane. So this makes my second figure that's numbered back there. No, third, because my pop. Nikki, do you walk on those stuff? <laughs> uh, Carl, what's going on, man? Uh, what else did I pick up? But I picked up a figure. Let me take this off. Still in the box from... Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. So those of you who don't know, this that sits right here is from Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, the actual Cadillac. And on top of it, right there, the guy in yellow, that is the main dude from Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. His name is Jack. Jungle Fighting Jack. That's what he is. So this guy is uh, Cairo. That's who he is. And I decided to pick him up in the box so that way I can have two from it. I have wooden pegs for now. <laughs> Surgery coming soon. Is that Nuka Cola? That is Quantum Cola, but yes, yeah, same thing. It was cooler this morning, 23. Oh my god, it's too cold. Thanks, everyone. So much support for you, Nikki. So much support. None of my stuff numbered. Uh, I've got two. One from Dark Side, one, uh, got one from Dark Side, one from Shy Guy, and then I bought the uh, Cylon. Relentless Still hanging out here. Remember this Sega CD game? Yeah, the, the stand-up arcade game for Cadillacs and Dinosaurs was awesome. So anyway, I decided to pick up uh, Mr. Cairo from the uh, Cadillacs and Dinosaurs. As you guys can tell, the, the card is not in great condition. And uh, I'll show you guys the back of it, too. So you can see the other stuff that came uh, with the, uh, the series of it. Now, granted, I, I never watched the cartoon, uh, but... The, the 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 content like it really makes me intrigued the Cadillacs and dinosaurs and the way they can ride them and fight and all that kind of stuff it's really cool to me uh, but anyway I, I I don't really want to collect them all but I definitely think I should have them if I come across them at a good price I'll pick them up why the hell not so uh, let's open it so there he is Mr Cairo out the box classic. Uh, early uh late 90s early hang on sorry late 80s early 90s figure sitting right there there he is pretty cool man it's nice to have wow 
He smells like a swimming pool. <laughs> That's not racist. He does. He smells like a swimming pool. Uh, but there he is, and then he comes with this big rocket launcher type thing that goes on his shoulder, and it comes with two missiles. Comes with this big old uh, like spear, right there. Let's see. How do you fire this thing? I don't know. How to... Oh! <laughs> uh, and then he also comes with uh, a pipe wrench. I guess it doesn't load, so that's the only one. It comes with a pipe wrench. Apparently, that's his tenth ad coming. I'm no, I'm sorry. Almost. Nikki's gonna have jars. <laughs> oh, Mr. Clancy, thank you so much for hanging out, buddy. You know you're one of my dudes. You're actually reverse counsel, dude. Uh, he comes with a pipe wrench. Doesn't shoot out the gun like I thought it did. Everybody's seen Nikki's feet pics. Ew. Uh, <laughs> Good. Never yell Carl anymore. I'm glad. No, Carl, uh, last Monday was the last time we ever were going to yell Carl anymore. It's a dead joke. So uh, if you weren't here, man, you got to tune into YouTube. Check it out. So he's got a big pipe wrench to go with him. I dig it. I love it. He's going to hang out in the car with uh, Jack and Skeletor. I didn't break it. It's mine. I can do what I want with it. Back up three ads every time. I know, man. Does a quantum cola... Wait. Does quantum cola nave quantum in it? I don't know. You tell me, man. I picked it up in the wasteland. Check it out. Quantum cola. From the Nuka Cola Company. So, uh, does it have it? I don't know, man. Maybe one day we'll crack the back off of it. But until now, it's going to sit right there and uh, make you thirsty. Like uh, all the dudes in Nikki's stream, just thirsty. Oh, I love the Carl yell. Yeah. Well, Nikki, you know, since you're special, I might do it for you. Because Singing Gamer is actually the only one that I'll do it for. But, uh, so, maybe for Nikki. We're finally! We're finally what? I have no idea what we're finally, but awesome. Are you back to Walmart? Is that what it is? Lady Bird. It's me and Jizzy Joke, by the way. Oh, no. Uh, we're finally going to go to the post office tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. You, like I said, you guys do not have to do anything special for me. It's uh, it's appreciated, but don't worry about it. It'll get here when it gets here, but that's awesome. Wow, I want it. What do you want? Quantum Cola? Can't have it bad for you. It'll uh, decrease your rads. No, it increases your rads. It'll something your rads. I haven't played Fallout since it's Fallout food. 3. It gives you like sustenance in food, but you gain rads when you eat it. Drink it. Your mom gains rads. Without your, anything. Your face gains rads because I'm going to kill you in your sleep. <laughs> Ooh. I was thinking about getting bottle caps from GameStop Rewards. <laughs> uh, that would be really cool. I thought about it too, but I've got enough crap anyway, and I buy on the fly, sadly. Um, so, I picked up a couple of these. The Walking Dead nerds, they open these all the time. These uh, little pop in a box. I think I paid eight bucks for this or whatever. Use Ladybirds as my Agro's password the other day. Oh, God. Have the Carl Pop. It's back there. The Carl Pop is actually sitting up top now. On the plus side, comments going straight through. Oh, there you go. So I picked up uh, one of the Science Fiction Series 2 box. And if you look on the back, you can see uh, all the ones they got. I know it's kind of blurry, but you can kind of you can kind of tell what it is. All kinds of crazy stuff. Up from Germany. What's going on in Germany tonight? Something rads. <laughs> cannibal Cousins. Uh, cannibal Cuisine. Sorry about that. You never played New Vegas. I played a little bit of Vegas, but something else came up after that, so I never played it again. But 3 was where it was at. I played 3 three times all the way through. I love the guy that had a tree growing out of his head. Yep. That was my favorite. Since Holly's and the you might get it early again. New Year's. <laughs> uh, you hype for Fallout 4? I am, man. I'm going to get it tomorrow. Um, after work, and I'm going to play it all tomorrow night. That is my goal. That is what I'm going to do. I can't wait. Is that Sir drinking? Where can I find it? I found this in Kentucky and Indiana. So that's the two places I found it. Texas doesn't have it. Missouri doesn't have it. Um, I've heard Michigan has it, but we didn't go to any stores when we were there. So uh, that's where I picked it up, man. I've been drinking it all stream. What is going on? Deathstroke Sutter, how you doing, man? What's going on? Deathstroke Shooter, sorry. Mr. I Create Carnage. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out, man. Carl Goatham. Walking Dead nerds called Predator Alien. Oh, well, you can't get everything right, man. I can't even get the rads right. So let's open up this. Let's find out what's going on in here. They got the black bag. Oh, 
Oh, sweet! Right out the back, we get a Cylon. Yes! Look at that. You can take him if you want him. Yeah, I want the toaster. You want him? Look at this, guys. So you get a, you get this. This is old school Cylon, though. I'm okay with it. It's, it's, it's like the 70s Cylon. And then, I had rad I once. Had to get a prescription to clear it up. Damn, I forgot to pre-order. That's all right. Ginger guys must wander. Wonder. Oh, J Dub wants to know how his soul is. Uh, tucked in right proper. Have a good one. Nerdy got a set up. Ladies and gentlemen, that man right there, that is the Saints fan. He's about to start his show. His show is on YouTube, okay? Listen to me when I say this. He creates games. The classic games that you grew up in. And they're watching fun. on they're, They are fun. It's a complete 100% interactive stream. And he's doing a giveaway for the next three to four days. Four days. For the next four days. It ends on Thursday. So, go to his show. Play his game. 74 in here. All 74 go play out in his thing. Seriously, go watch his show. Play his games. And you can win his giveaways. He's got a lot of stuff to give away. He spent his own personal money to give you stuff. Somebody last night won a Boba Fett helmet. Yeah! Yeah, in his show. So you guys are watching me. I'm not going to give you anything. You can't have anything. It's mine. This is my stuff. This is my Cylon. This is my Cairo. This is my box I'm going to throw at you. That's mine. You can't have it. So you know what? Go to the Saints fan. Watch the Saint. Play his games. Get the hell out of here. I don't like you anymore. Uh, is Goatham finished already too? No, I will say Goatham. Thank you so much, Ginger Guys. Should have stopped in Kansas and said hi. Uh, well, the thing is, we were. It was. it wasn't like a... I don't want to say like a like a fun, joyous trip. It was kind of like we had a goal. We had to get to that toy store, and then once we got there, that's when I was like, I really want to go to Michigan real quick. So I had to talk him into it, but I got to go to Michigan for like five minutes. I, I jumped into Michigan, I hung on the Michigan sign, and then we left. So, uh, whose show? Duh, Saints fan. You got to go check it out, man. List Wits Gaming. Uh, got to play some games. Mr. Red Dragon, thank you so much for coming in here. You know you're one of my dudes. Uh, go play some games. Have some fun. Guess he didn't say Xenomorph, so I let him off. Here's your Cylon. Ew. That was not even close to your head. He hit me on the shoulder. Oh, he's got a gun. I know, right? Uh, so, uh, check this out. I got two of them. I think I paid eight fifty or eight eight bucks for this one. I'm a toaster. Yes, you are. Free Wanda, not gonna happen. So this right here, this is another one of the boxes. And the Walking Dead nerds, they stream Friday and Saturday. They they, like, open a lot of these. They try to collect all of them. So uh, if you guys want to see them all open, I'm not going to do it. This is the only ones I've ever bought. So if you guys want to see all of them open, you got to go to their stream. Winnie the Pooh is an addict. <laughs> yes, he is. But make sure you guys vote in the Super Random Brawl. Super Mario, Barbarella, or Winnie the motherfucking Pooh. Uh, so there we go. What is going on, little Vader? <laughs> little Vader? <laughs> it's like, I, I just picture Mini-Me in a Vader outfit. <laughs> like, he's like, the force is strong. And then he comes in like, but your mom's not. <laughs> uh, throwing boxes at me. Yeah, that's right. To your face. So let's open it up. Let's find out what's, uh, two more hours before I leave Fallout. DMK, man. Uh, go enjoy yourself, buddy. There's another one at S. Fox. So they come in black bags. So you do, they're all they're mystery pops. They're um, what are they? I'm trying to remember the actual thing they call it. They got a name to it, like blind pops or something like that. No, don't do it. You're always welcome here, Mister Mrs. No, oh, that's right. I forgot he's up there. Oh, look at that! Look at that. This is. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's uh, like a Viper pilot or something. They may have went ahead and made it Apollo. I don't know, but he's kind of cool. Do you need him for your collection? I need all of them. Okay. They're, they're mine. They're so, mine so this is this is from the original Battlestar. In the new series, they didn't wear these weird helmets, these weird Egyptian helmets. Uh, did I hear a geist there? No, you didn't. <laughs> Driving to California soon? <laughs> if if I do, I'm definitely going to pop into Mexico Stream. I'll, I'll, I'll like sneak in the back of his garage. Mystery Minis, that might be it, too. So, I ended up getting... I'm going to call him Apollo. I ended up getting an Apollo figure. Well, it could be a Starbuck. Because Starbuck was a boy. Was a dude, yeah. <laughs> Put your hands up here! <laughs> I don't want my hands. <laughs> I... Uh, <laughs> blind box is vinyl. Blind box, that makes more sense, too. Mr. Goofy Penguin! Wait, you're a girl, right? You're not say on the back of the box. No, they're all, they're just numbers. 
Uh, you're a girl, Mrs. Goofy. You're Mrs. Goofy Penguin, correct? Am I right with that? Win story time! Not a clue. I am the secret son of Vader. I was the favorite. <laughs> I like you, little Vader. Well, I'm going to pretend it's Starbucks. I don't think Apollo was a thing in the first series. Sub-Zero. Yeah, he was there. Was he there? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yes, he was. I have to rewatch that. Uh, but all right, guys, that's cool, man. I I'm glad you guys are coming and hanging out for a little while on Middle Finger Monday. That's for you guys. We are rocking the Indian flag, and we got a light-up bottle of Quantum Cola for the premiere of Fallout 4, which launches tonight at midnight. Not getting my copy tonight, but I'm going to get it tomorrow. Did Walking Dead nerds on this weekend. Could not find them. Oh, oh, uh, that's because on Friday they decided to mess up the damn lineup. Yeah, so if they ever come in here, I got a bone to pick with their ass. I'll make you famous baby sized burritos. I'll make, oh, okay, the burritos, okay. I was like, what's he making famous? You make your famous, I got you. Shoots the honey straight into his veins. Yeah, that's what Winnie the Pooh does. Cutler MVP, ah, oh, I know, right? So this, I hid this from Geist all weekend. I picked up a present for her. I'm going to show you guys. And this was when I went to that toy store. Right when I walked in, I saw the USS flag. That was the first thing I saw, and I was going to buy it and leave. But all they had was the box. They didn't have it. And I, like, I was going to start like figuring out what I needed to sell in my collection in order to pay for the flag. That's the honest truth, because I talked about it on Friday. If I ever had the option to buy a complete USS flag, I definitely would. And there it was, but it was it was just the box. So I was already set up as soon as I found it. When she said it wasn't in there, I'm like, all right. So after that, this was the first thing I picked up. This is for the Geist. And uh, I figure maybe some of you guys, some of you 80s babies in here, goodbye and I am your father. Thank you very much, Lovator, for stopping in here. Uh, between, oh, been a great big MF, I can tell, Christmas around the corner. Oh, I know, right? I'm sorry, man. Jeez, what's going on, J-Boy? How you doing, man? Cutler's about one more interception from becoming a backup. <laughs> oh, how does this show get turned into a damn NFL talk? This is not the rant. Go rant with Al Diggy. You keep your damn NFL out of here. Uh, unless you're talking Raiders, which they shouldn't be talking Raiders because they sucked balls. They did a really good, like, the game... They just, I don't know, they got outplayed is what it was. It's not that they didn't play well. They played really good. They only lost by, what, three points, I think, in the end, too? Something like that. Anyway, so this is what I got for the Geist. I got, um, let's see, what, what is it actually called? Golden Book from, i got to find out the date before I show it to you. No peeking over there. This is from 1985. This is a Golden Book. This is the Return to Oz book. Yeah. How cool is that? Hang on, I'm going to show it and I'll, I'll get to it. I have to read it to see how, if it's just... So it's check just this out. If anybody remembers, this was the sequel to Wizard of Oz, like 50 years later or whatever. But this was like the dark version. This was so dark and creepy. Oh, he's back. Good, good, good. Um, where's the Sub-Zero? It's behind the It's behind the flag. Are you in Iron? Are you in Ron Mexico enemies? No, no, no. We're besties. That's why we have. That's why we have the bestie necklaces. Uh, Extreme gayness. If you go into Ron Mexico stream, he's wearing the other half to this. And Mr. Mexico, we learned this earlier. I sent you the white lantern ring, right? When I put my white lantern ring on, and we connect the bestico necklaces and the rings, we become a double-ended dildo. Uh, <laughs> I remember. Wheelers. Yeah, the wheelers. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, this was so dark. And I actually loved this as a kid. Oz. Oz. There you go. So this is that. Dorothy, it's green. And I just opened it. I just opened it out of the bag. I haven't even thumbed through it. But the pages are still in really, really good condition. Chica. Yeah, it's from the movie, because it's got her in the crate with the chicken, and then the lunch pail, and then the messed up yellow brick road. Like, like this all happened in the movie. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's awesome. The I yellow brick road is movie. all destroyed. Yeah, we watched it a couple years ago. I would like to watch it again. It was creepy. Yeah, it really was. I had the movie on VHS. It's twisted as fuck. I mean, it's there you go. something I watched. When it, I guess, when did it come out? Like, when we were seven, eight years old? 80, like 85? Oh, or, or, no, it was 80. No, it, this one says 85, so it had to been. the book, though. I bet you the book came out before the movie. I don't I think so. When... Uh, it's drawn from the book. It's, the, the cover on the front is, is from it? the movie. Well, Google it. Stop telling dates. 
There's the wheelers that they're talking about right there. The wheelers chasing Dorothy. That's crazy. Got to go, yeah, nerdy, yeah. epic stream. Thank you very much, man. Okay, so yeah, it's Eggs are poison. <laughs> you want to go step? Ah, there you go, man. There you go. I, I want to see some more pictures of that. But anyway. You know what? Movie. I've watched it since I was really little, and yeah, it's always been twisted. You know what's crazy? What's that? This book is the number one. So I'm missing the rest of it. It, it stops after she finds TikTok. TikTok? This is, this is TikTok. He was basically like the Tin Man in this version. I have a shitload of golden books. Awesome! Oz the Prisoner Show. <laughs> I was 13 and 85. You had me at double-ended. There you go. I didn't want to throw that at you. So, we were talking earlier about the uh, blind boxes, right? So, a friend of mine, uh, Mr. Slick, if you guys saw him in that one stream he was on, he actually got me this. This is from the same blind boxes, the exact same mystery box right there. This is the actual Voltron Mini. Check that out. So, uh, it goes really well with my Voltron. So, I picked up a Voltron this weekend. If you guys missed the beginning of the stream. Ah! So, I got my Voltron Mini and my big real deal uh, Voltron tonight. Mr. L, uh, little Nave, thank you, man. Uh, the Wiz, he's on down the road. Oh, yeah, the Wiz! Oh, uh, Anime and Games, all right. So, you, you got me. Stepping on all my trash. Where is it at? Found my photograph of Ric Flair. All right, so you mentioned the Wiz. There is the Wiz <laughs> on vinyl. Wizard of Oz movie released in 3D. Really? A scene returned to Oz dark. Yeah. Didn't, like, the original Wizard of Oz, you were scared of it when you were little. Mm. I remember you didn't like it. Your mom told me that you were scared of it. I don't remember personally being scared. Uh, is that the classic Voltron? Yes, this is the original Voltron right here. This is the original one. And he is like 90% complete. He doesn't have his sword or his shield. But it turns out that the, th that the, that the, the passengers weren't part of the original Voltron. You had to buy those separately. Shave your bottle cap. <laughs> I probably will. Now, Mexico might be able to... Uh, you did. Uh, Mexico might actually be able to pay for Fallout 4 with his bottle cap collection. Because I have a couple of his bottle caps. I might need to take those up there. This, that's crazy, right? Yeah, the fact that I have the Wiz on vinyl with all the songs. Crazy, right? I, I try to have a little bit of everything. So I actually have the vinyl records that go with the Wiz. Ah, no. Ah, no. You guys sing it. But yeah, this, so this is the Voltron that I picked up this weekend on my epic trip. And I got the little one to go with it. So we got two Voltrons hanging out here. Damn, what don't you have? <laughs> Mr. Revan 6, up until tonight, I didn't have a uh, a Cyclops statue, but my man Darkseid sent me one. Badass, I mean, this is an incredible statue, but badass, great add to the collection. Mr. Revan, I try, my goal, my goal is a shitty goal, but my goal is to have one of everything. Calm down, Voltron. That's my goal. I would like for somebody to come in here and say a random toy, and then, boom, I have it, like a brain fart. Or uh, an original Egon. That's my goal. So that that's why I have so much. That being said, that is a perfect segue into uh, my small announcement. Okay. So... In, on my long trip this weekend, you know, when two nerds get in the truck locked in for, you know, how long was the trip up there? Eight and a half, nine hours, something like that. Um, while we were talking, we were talking about collections. And because I do this show and because I try to have one of everything, I don't really have a collection. I don't really do much. Uh, let's see here. Is that the one? Oh, I'm sorry. What, what do you say? Is that the one something? It's called, it should be called List Wits. Go to YouTube, uh, look at List Wits, uh, The Saints Fan, and stuff like that. I, I missed, uh, it was, I think it was Goofy Penguin said it. I bet you don't have Gumby. Gumby is uh, right there. Right here, this this is hard to see. That's Gumby riding Pokey. I made it in time to catch the rest of the show. Mr. Killer Quinso. 
I'm sorry, Goofy. I missed the first part of that. Have you got the green ghost from Ghostbusters? You mean Slimer? Really? Really? You're in trouble. Uh, so anyway, I don't really collect one thing. Yes, I collect Black Series, but they have kind of a they have a stopping point. Like they put out five, and then they wait four or five months, you know, before they put out any more. Same with the Marvel Legends, which I'm con I'm gonna dial back on. I don't. I like I don't want to have to get the build a figure for the next couple of them, so I'm just going to buy like one or two. So that being said, my goal now from this point on is to collect uh, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's my goal, and I'm going to find a way to set it up, and that way I can just show the progress of it. Have you ever thought about having your own your collection appraised? Not one time has that ever crossed my mind. Kaiser Soze, what's going on, Kaiser Soze? Are you limping today or not? Hangman at the box, the 3D Wizard. Hangman at the at the back, the 3D Wizard of Oz movie. Yeah, that's that. Okay, what what Jules? And I like Jules, by the way. What Jules is referring to is the fact that uh, somebody apparently hung themselves on the set of the Wizard of Oz and it made it in the no, final cut. It's a crane. No, it, it's, it's an a actual. Bird. It's a bird. And if you look at it, they actually zoomed in on it. You can see the bird. It lifts up. Now, from a distance, it kind of looks like that. It looks like a dude dropped and spun. But if they zoomed in on it, it's a bird. It lifts up and its wings move out. So don't worry about it. By chance, you collect shot glasses. I have a few, but they're actually downstairs in the kitchen. So, I mean, I don't keep them up here. Uh, I do have a... Uh, I do have this. I have a, a, a quarks glass right on hand. Uh, I bet you don't have... The Flaming Carrot Action Figure. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, hey, do you have any Weeble Wobbles? I do, but not on hand. My bad, forgot his name. That's all right. Got any Godzilla toys? Somewhere down in the in the depths of it. We're not showing toys. So, my goal is to start collecting Ninja Turtles. The original series of Ninja Turtles. Now, I know that when you start breaking down Ninja Turtles, there were thousands of them. You look at the back of this. There were thousands of different ones, man. Like, they got... Metal, Bebop, and Rocksteady, and uh, Movie Soldier Foot Clan, uh, Movie Shredder, Krang. I mean, Krang's an original, but like, let's see, they, they made, oh, Super Michelangelo, Hot Spot, Super Don, Mona Lisa, like crazy stuff like that. The Wiz, is that the one, the Roger Daltrey from The Who? No. Uh, I got called Big Voltron. I call the Big Voltron something. <laughs> Do you have any old marbles? I do! I have some classic marbles. Mr. Trenzarg, what's going on? Flamingo carrot like Boris the Bear. Flaming carrot like Boris the Bear. Anyway, so my goal is uh, to start collecting original Ninja Turtles and then work them my way up. Now, I'm not going to collect every damn one of them that ever existed, but I would like to have the core of it. That's my, that's my goal, and I'm going to put up a checklist and you know slowly go through it So as I go. Never knew that was a bird. The media loves scaring us. Yeah, they do. No, it was a bird. Trust me. Trust me. Uh, bird was added in over the years. <laughs> it's like Oopa Loopa hanging. Becca Stars looks like a zombie. Is she streaming like a zombie, or are you just trying to make fun of her or something? Uh, but anyway, so that's my goal over the next you know while, because I want to start collecting something, and I like collecting stuff in my childhood. I would like to do G1 Transformers, but they're so damn expensive. So, like, an original... Um, like an original Optimus Prime or original Megatron, that's two to three hundred dollars, comparing on condition and stuff. But Ninja Turtles, a lot of times they were open, set up, la la la, and then they were thrown in the side. So there's not a lot of wear and tear to them. So, Mr. David, City of <laughs> Trees, how you doing, buddy? Thank you so much for coming in here, man. Always good to see David, man. If you do not know, that is the 420 Club. Have you got? A friend for side sheep. Technically, I do. The uh, the Dalek is. Take it. Take it. You're a retro collector. No, man. I collect everything. I've got new age stuff. I've got old school stuff. Like it all just depends on what I want. But I have never had my stuff. Uh oh, he's got nothing to say. Mesta, it's your boy Tony. What's going on, buddy? How you doing, man? Can't wait till you see my TMT collection. I love to see it. That's why I have an Instagram. Show me. Superman, how the hell are you? I know. My goal is to start collecting the turtles, and I want to have a separate shelf just for them and update the collection as we go. Uh, would you want the metal robot turtle? Uh, you mean metalhead? I actually have metalhead back there. Uh, Biker mice from Mars. Kaiser Soze. Yeah, they're actually behind the flag. Mr. Tenacious, what's up? 
I got the original Ninja Turtles already, Jizzy. You got all of them? Everyone that was ever created in the history of ever? Well, damn. They just rebooted the old 80s Turtles. You getting the original. Yeah, I'm getting the original ones. The, the, the classic ones. Here, let me show you. The hardest part is going to be able to have to get the uh, the weaponry that goes with it. But this is uh, original Metalhead. So this this is what I'm talking about when I want to collect the original turtles. This is him. Now I don't have his arm, his because this hand was actually interchangeable with like two other devices. So I don't have his hand. It's going to be one of those things I'm going to have to be able to collect. I'd like to be able to get most of their normal functioning weapons with this stuff. Damn Disney Cruise Line ad. Ooh, at least it's new. Did I hear 420? Ah, there you go, man. Uh, great time, please. Great time, please. All right. So, anyway, this is what I'm trying to collect. This is what I'm going for. That is my motivation. So I might slack off with buying other things in order to purchase something for my collection. I'm currently after the Marvel exclusive Hulkbuster Funko. You'll pay 60 to 70 bucks on eBay, man. That's generally where you're going to find them. The only way to get the Hulkbuster for the pop is through the Marvel crate. If you didn't order the Marvel crate, you can't get it anymore. So it's already, it's already an exclusive eBay 60 to 70 bucks, man. I'm sorry to tell you that. So I'm going to finish my surge. Yeah, classic 90s throwback right there. What's going on, Lewis? How you doing, man? Took me two streams. Uh, finally finished my surge. Awesome classic. The one with the glow in the dark brain and eyes. Glow in the dark brain. I don't know if his brain glows in the dark, but he, it definitely uh, glows up under light. So, I don't know. Mr. Slayer Warlock, what's going on, buddy? We're about out of here. Saw a set of... Leonardo's at Toys R Us. Yeah, that's the, the the long line of it. I love the turtle toys. I do too. That's what these are. Th this and this, they're actually uh, they're actually filled with original Ninja Turtles. I was going to crack them out tonight, but other things got in the way. So we might do that on Wednesday's show. On Wednesday's show, we are going to set this asshole on fire. So tune in. I know I said it, whatever, but... You better have a fire extinguisher handy. We're going to do you it. you set up this room on fire... We're going to set this guy on fire, so tune in. It surged back out. Yes, it is. In certain states, it's hitting in the gas stations. Uh, no, she didn't. I'm getting the thunder... Oh, I'm sorry. It went away. Yeah. Going down state. Going down state tomorrow to get old toys. That's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. Spider Man's getting the Thunder Megazoid and the White Tiger Zord. Ah, badass, badass. Uh, TMNT movies versus the last shitty one. Well, I mean, the 90s movies were what I grew up on, so of course I'm going to love those more. It's nostalgia for me. And they're still very watchable, especially Secret of the Ooze. But the new one is very good. I mean, if you separate the two, it's really good. It's high energy. I kind of didn't like what they did with Shredder, but they had to make him really badass. The problem was is that Megan Fox's hair, mm -hmm. sometimes they shaded it red. Sometimes it was the black. Fire. She should have just dyed her hair red for yeah. the film. Yeah, no, she really should have. Her hair should have been red. She I mean, should have bit the bullet and dyed her damn if it's hair. Dark red. That's fine. You have but, one Ninja Turtle stuff. But if you watch her hair, it's not red all the time. But they've obviously put that in after shot. Yeah, it, it was kind of like they try to highlight it to make it better. But she really should just dyed her damn hair. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I didn't like what they did with Shredder, red but streaks in it, you know? they had to make him badass. Do something. You will shit. Your pants when I show you my TMNT collection. Well, I'm waiting. Show me. Get to take a picture. Stop talking to me. A guy beside me at a Comic Con last week bought one for... Holy shit. Uh, do you have the Dragon Balls to set him on fire? Oh, Was I will. Ron Mexico? That Ron Mexico won the last brawl? Yes, he did. I told him twice. <laughs> he who dings the shell... Oh, wait. He who dings the shell must pay. Oh, that's so classic. Must pay. I'm um, after more Harley merchandise. Yeah, I know. Everybody's got their own thing to collect, and because I'm trying to collect one of everything, I don't have my niche. Like, I have the Black Series, and I have the Legends. I don't really have a collection. Uh, you can collect these nuts. Uh, you got to get the Harley Arkham Knight Funko Superman. Stop telling me what I need. So, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, you guys have been voting for about 50 minutes on the Super Random Brawl. Mario, Bar Bar Barbarella, or Winnie the Pooh. One of them is moving on uh, right about now. Let's find out who's it going to be. Oh, 
Holy crap, not even close. I mean, not even in the ballpark. You can combine these two assholes and not get Super Mario's vote. 47 to 4 to 9. Oh my Jesus. There was no point in even waiting on that one. That is absolutely insane. Uh, the voting on that. Great. What's going on, Fallout 4 Master? How you doing, Surge? That is right, Predator. We've been drinking Surge all night long. All night long. Cowbunga, dude. Yeah, trans still got the Funkos, uh, but Nerdy, I can't get to them. But I, no, no, you go get to them. I, it's too. It's early in the day where you're at. I know where you're at. It's earlier. You go get them right now because Nerdy said so. Uh, little Vader, Yolo, still hanging out in here. Congratulations, J Dub. Uh, the council is corrupt. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, guys, we've had an actual great time tonight. We got three brawls done uh, with the uh, inclusion of one of the uh, one of the brawls in the pre-show, which is what I'm going to keep doing. Arkham Holly is hot. Uh, yes, it is. So if you guys tune in on Wednesday show, the pre-show is going to be on YouTube, and the show is going to be on YouTube. My goal is to set Blue Pants on fire. Woof. Light his ass up, melt him into a blue pancake. So tune in for that. Make sure you do. It's going to be a fun time. There's going to be three more brawls on Wednesday. It's going to be a great fun time stream. I hope each individual one of you come and chill chill out for me for just a little bit of while. Uh, thanks, everybody, for Super Mario. La, 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 la. You calm down. Still got Aaron Brew. Of course, I still got Eating Blue. Always got it on hand. But tonight, we have got Quantum Cola hanging out. If you guys do not know, man, Fallout 4 is upon us. Fallout for just mere hours away from everybody being able to get it, not just stupid gamers who aren't fun and entertaining to listen to. No idea why some people follow these jackasses on Twitch. Be like, you're not even talking, not even funny. They have like 500 people watching them. What the hell is that? Come on now. But anyway, yeah, Fallout 4 is out. We've been rocking the Quantum Cola all night tonight. You guys go drink this and uh, you're going to be seeing some crazy ass stuff hanging out. So uh, anyway... That's that's my plan for tomorrow. My plan is to go and get Fallout 4 at the end of the day. Go home, download it, and play it into the night. Hopefully I can get up on Wednesday with enough energy to go to work and come and stream for you guys. But uh did miss Bebop and Rocksteady. Yes, you you always miss it. Give me that. You calm the hell down. But uh I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Mondays are always the, the hardest day. It is the official hump day of the week. It is so hard to be off for two days and then uh, back into work. But I like to thank with my show, with you guys coming in here, it makes it a lot easier and a lot more fun to get over that day and get your week started moving on till Friday so we can all fist bump each other and uh, make fun of S. Fox's hair a little bit more. But uh, yeah, I figured you were. But again, last time I'm going to do it. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. This is the Nerdy Effect. That is Side Sheep rocking the Indian flag with some Quantum Cola. If you guys would like a nerd shirt, message me on Instagram. We're almost done with the first line, which means we can order more bigger and smaller sizes from me to all of you and the ginger guys. Here is a huge nerd circle. <laughs> right on the shirt, reverse nerd circle. <laughs> <laughs> I will see you on Wednesday. I will give you a bait, a great go time and a call for you all, baby.